Hello guys, I'm Sophia and over there is Trixie. Today I'm going to be going over some chinchilla essentials that you'll need before getting a chinchilla. I know I, as well as many people, just went and bought a chinchilla without much thought to it. You should never, ever do that. It's a very, very large financial decision. I know everything together from my tricks costs about thousand two hundred dollars to get everything that she needs um, really think about it before you go in and buy a chinchilla this is the stuff that i personally have for my chinchilla some people have less some people have more it's just the essentials that i think every chinchilla should have i'm not an expert i just want to educate some people before they just go into buying a chinchilla like i did not saying that any of you are but in case you are here's what you should have at the very least for your chinchilla First off, you want to have the space. I did not even think about this when I first got her. My room was kind of tiny. You do want to have the space for your chinchilla. They do need a lot of space, especially if you get a Ferret Nation double level, which I highly recommend. A Critter Nation or a Ferret Nation is really good, but there's a few on Amazon that are a little cheaper. She was just doing her playtime. She's a little sleepy. But yeah, so first things first, you need the space for a big cage. Secondly, you're gonna want to have food for your chinchilla. They don't need a lot of food. They need like a tablespoon or two a day. Right now, the one that I have is Science Selective Balanced Chinchilla Food. It's a slightly cheaper option for those who want to have a healthy food for their chinchilla, but they're not willing to spend 40-ish dollars on a bag, 20 to 40 dollars. I think that one was like 18 dollars, and you only need a tablespoon a day of food for them. You want to make sure everything is covered in fleece or a different sort of bedding i'm not too sure about the other types of beddings there are and what is safe and what is not for chinchillas but i am for sure that fleece is safe non-pill fleece is definitely safe for chinchillas because they will bite through this the other fabric besides non-pill fleece could get stuck in their stomach okay like that <laughs> So you do want to make sure you have non-pill fleece all over your chinchilla's house. You want to be sure you clean your chinchilla's cage at least once a week. They're going to pee a lot and they poop even more. Make sure your chinchilla's cage is clean every day. Another thing you're going to need in your chinchilla's cage is something to hold the hay. So you need the hay, of course. So you're going to get Timothy hay. I also get botanical hay every week or so for my chinchilla. I put it in about every week or so. But I only put a little bit, but what they mostly need is timothy hay this is all botanical hay and then underneath there you see the timothy hay you're gonna make sure that you get a lot of timothy hay for your chinchilla i'll put in a little clip i actually get hay barrel they're like ten dollars each ten to fifteen dollars and instead of buying twenty dollar bags of timothy hay you do get more but you want to make sure the hay is from the reputable farm and you want the hay to be for animals only I actually open the door because it's kind of hot out but there you can see on my patio there's a legitimate bay of hail it's all timothy hay i get from the local farm around us you can really just go to any farm that keeps animals or has products for animals and they'll probably have a timothy hay bale i got mine for like 10 ish dollars they're really cheap you get all this hay for the price that you'd pay for a little bag Coming back over to Trixie's cage, you're gonna want a water bottle. A lot of people prefer glass water bottles, but I don't keep mine inside of my chinchilla's cage. You don't want a water bowl because they can get wet, and if they get wet, they can get mold on them. They're not supposed to be wet ever. So you're gonna want a water bottle that doesn't leak and can be screwed on tightly to their cage on the outside. And in case you guys haven't noticed, there is no plastic in Trixie's cage. Plastic is really bad for them. They will chew it. Even if you think your chinchilla won't, it's better to just not have anything plastic in the cage because if they get bored and they start to chew it they could have digestive problems hi trixie another thing you're gonna want to get is some form of chin cooling stone i i forget what they're called i think katie sells some this is just regular marble stone you're gonna want to have something to chill down your chinchilla when it's hot in the summertime if you live in a hot area like i do where it's like 80 degrees to get, you're gonna wanna have chilling stone for your chinchilla. You're gonna also wanna have something to keep your chinchilla in during playtime. I just have this cage for her. It is adjustable, so she has enough room during her playtime. I'll just put in a clip of what it looks like. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have a big dog play pen 
or any type of playpen. This one just provides the most area for her. You want to make sure everything sharp is picked up off the ground. Anything that she could swallow is picked up off the ground. And you're going to want to make sure that they have something on the floor where they can get in and out of. This trash can I usually take out before she starts playing. And you're going to make sure that all the outlets are covered before you let them out and that they can't escape through any holes so that you don't have to go looking for them later on, which has happened a few times. If you guys are planning on getting a wheel for your chinchilla, a lot of people like to have a wheel. I feel like if you do playtime with them every day, you don't really need a wheel. You want to make sure it's at least 16 inches and is big enough for your chinchilla. You don't want to get any plastic ones. You want to make sure you get the huge metal ones. They are around like $100 to $150. So if you can find them for use, that could be even better. And right now, I'm not giving her her wheel because it is summertime and I don't want her to get hot. It is 70 degrees in the house. You should always have your chinchilla from at least 60 to 75 degrees or else they can overheat all right guys i hope you learned something today on how to care for your chinchilla that will be it if you guys want to see more videos please like comment subscribe any kind of support i get from you guys would be perfect i am a new channel this is my first ever video i hope you guys liked it i know there's not a lot of chinchilla creators out there so i want to provide a nice channel for you guys who just want more chinchilla advice i don't know i don't know you can never get enough <laughs> bye guys thank you